Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the trusty and this is going to be my first raid weapon review. I'm going to be redoing reviews for all of the weapons aside from maybe the LMG and the sword. Not saying they're bad. Well, the sword is bad, but I'm not saying the LMG is bad. I just want to combine those two because I don't want to make a separate video. I Really, I just don't want to make a separate video for the sword. <laughs> so let's look at the trusty, the weapon itself. It's a rapid fire frame. If you guys don't know what a rapid fire frame is, it's basically fires full auto with deeper ammo reserves and faster reload when weapon is empty. So if you guys remember Randy's throwing knife, this is that. It's basically the same frame. And in my opinion, Trusty has a lot better rolls on it. So let's look at the rolls. It's gonna be surplus, reconstruction, outlaw, killing wind, Zen moment and under pressure for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Wellspring, High Impact Reserves, Opening Shot, Eye of the Storm, Sympathetic Arsenal, and Redirection. So, for the first row, it's going to be Surplus. I think Surplus is an, a viable option in PvP. In PvE, not so much personally, unless you don't use your abilities that much. But I use my abilities a lot in PvE and in PvP, so for me, Surplus is a negative unless like all my ability cooldowns were really low reconstruction is not that great in a primary in, in my opinion personally if you like it go ham i just don't think it's it's the best choice i think reconstruction works really well with uh special weapons don't get me wrong i think the only way you can make reconstruction viable is if you had like let's say if you were doing double primary, I think that would be a great choice because then you could pull out your reconstruction weapon and really put in fire, like basically cover fire. I think that would be a great aspect. Outlaw seems like a good choice. I just question it because it already has alloy magazine intrinsically. So what I mean by that is faster reload when weapon is empty, it's basically alloy magazine. So. I just, why don't you just do that instead, instead of wasting a perk? Killing Wind is probably going to be the best choice. I mean, granted, increased mobility, weapon range, and handling in PvE doesn't seem like something people would want to do. Me personally, I would most likely do that other than, any, uh, other than anything else just because I, I don't value any of the other things as much. Zen Moment, I can see an argument for PvE, for controller users, and under pressure, I don't think is viable at all personally now surplus is viable if you combine it with wellspring in my opinion if you have wellspring and surplus then at that point use both those are great options for pvp or pve uh, i just feel like my god roll would be killing wind and high impact reserves for pvp for PvE, it would probably be Surplus and Wellspring. I think that combination is really good. But for PvP, like I said, Killing Wind and, and uh, High Impact Reserves is going to be the play for me. I don't think Opening Shot gives you that much of a edge, in my opinion. And Eye of the Storm, I hate with a passion. Like, I hate it with a passion. Sympathetic Arsenal, I think, is just weak. Don't use it. And then Redirection is also a weak option as well. I don't like Redirection at all honestly so me personally i just will never use it so let's talk about the role that i used so the role that i have is killing wind and wellspring that combination is really cool i just personally would have liked killing wind and high impact reserve more that's what i'm currently trying to get and even with this role that personally i'm not the biggest fan don't get me wrong wellspring is dope but i would i would get more mileage from high impact reserves this roll was able to get me a score of 51 or 50. I don't remember the, the exact score. I'll have it in the screen right now. But this is the highest I've had it since, oof, I think Forsaken maybe? I just, let me tell you guys one thing. I, when it comes to PvP, my playstyle, at least the playstyle that I like to play, is an aggressive play. I like to, not ape, but kind of. So personally i love it when i see like a hunter or a titan or a warlock go into enemy territory and destroy everyone i love it i don't care if it's a shotgun with a sniper whatever it is 
I've done it with a sniper, I've done it with a shotgun, I've done it with an SMG, I've done it with pretty much everything, and I love it. I love that aspect of the game. Trusty, I couldn't use like that. Trusty is a, is a scout rifle. You have to use it to mid to long range. And if you're using it in a mid range, you're gonna get destroyed by hand cannons and pretty much everything else that's a mid range. So for me personally, you're gonna wanna use it for long range. You're gonna be fighting stuff like other scout rifles, snipers, and pulses. But because Trusty is a rapid fire frame, it does so much, just so, it does so much work for you. I'm obviously gonna have gameplay of it. I had one of my best games with my Warlock, no less. Like, I'm not the best Warlock too. Like, I think I'm a better Titan than any other class. Or like, I think my, my, my Titan, when I play my Titan, I think I do the best with my Titan, then my Hunter, then my Warlock. So I did that with my least powerful class, at least me personally. So I just think of like the possibilities of me going into with my Titan and just destroying people, especially if I'm using stasis or like insert super here. I love trusty. It's one of my favorite weapons right now to use in PVP. It's a playstyle I'm not used to. I'm not used to just like staying back and laning or basically camping or whatever. I don't like to do that, which is why I tend to move a lot more. I'll stay in a place, get bored, then move, but I'll always stay behind. That way I don't get killed. And this was a for refreshing, a very refreshing take because again, I always try to be really hyper aggressive and I'm generally really bad at it. Uh, I die more than I accomplish what I go for, mostly because I'm bad. But this really taught me that I am, realistically, I'm a much better person that goes in the back and is methodical and likes to take their shots and be safe. So that was a little bit of an eye opener, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the gun itself. I'm personally loving it. It's a great weapon. It's so easy to farm too. Uh, if you're doing raids, any of the raids really, like let's say you love Last Wish, just love, just run Last Wish a bunch of fucking times. You'll have a bunch of, uh, what is it, tokens of conquest or whatever they're called. You'll have a bunch of those and then run the new raid. And then once you get to the boss, kill the boss. And then once you get to the box, that's when you can just buy all the trustees you want or whatever weapon you want. Obviously you have to unlock the weapons or the armor first to get the rolls. But this is the best idea, the greatest idea Bungie has made so far. Like, Menagerie, great idea for for uh, weapons and armor acquisition. This raid is almost that same level of like, this is a great fucking idea Bungie. Great fucking job. I'm so happy you guys did this. It's such a great idea. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Next weapon's probably gonna be the hand cannon most likely, just because I like it a lot as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I've already said this and I will see you guys later.